Now this is a big job, 6,000 square feet. Beautiful gambrel roof, stone veneer, red cedar shingles, but it's not one of my jobs. Let's go inside and meet the builder. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Hey Tom, good, how are you? Job's looking good. Thank you. Looked at it from out front, everything looks nice and straight and plumb. Good, good to hear. Yeah. You didn't yeah. bring your level, did you? I never bring my level. I never, not to another man's site. <laughs> but uh, so I'm curious, I mean, how long has this project been going on? Uh, we started about June, beginning of June, we started with the foundation. Yeah. Uh, we started framing probably mid-July, and uh, we're into it for about, about 11 weeks now. Well, you're moving along pretty good. Yeah, yet. we're going good. It's a great location. So I'm always curious to know, how does one get into the construction <laughs> trade? Well, I grew up in a family business. Yeah. Was in construction. Oh. Good for you. So I ventured out on my own. I was probably about 22. Yeah. And I uh, decided that I wanted to build my own house. So your first project was to build your own house. Yep. Woo, good Imagine. for you. And no experience in the trade? No experience. A little bit of handyman stuff, yeah. you yeah. know, with my dad. And uh, so I, uh, I dove in and uh, caught all everything I needed to learn from you on this old house. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. <laughs> my yeah. pleasure. Yeah, you're doing a great job here. Thank you. So you got about a 6,000 square foot house? Yep, 5,800 square feet of conditioned space. So I see you got a crew working here, about how many guys, four or five guys? We probably guys? have six carpenters here on a daily basis. We yeah. have a handful of masons uh, on, the, on the veneer outside. Yeah, you got a lot going on. You're making some great headway. Thank you. So tell me about the space. So this is the great room, and this is sort of the focal point of the whole room. Wow. We've got the master wing on yep. this side of the house, okay. the kitchen on this side of the house, and I can show you a little better if we look right. at the plans. Well, I like the fact that everything is on one level right, right. here. That's right. nice. Yeah. So, Tommy, we're standing right about here in this yep. great room. We've got the kitchen on this side. Oh, Everything's yeah. focusing on this masonry fireplace here. Stairs go down to the Boy. finished basement. That's going to be beautiful right there. Yep. we got this deck outside here mm -hmm. and the way we designed it originally was a square rectangular deck. This looks pretty straightforward. That's pretty straightforward until the homeowner said, well, can we make it curved? Curved? Curved. Money's in the curves. What do you got? Oh, so, look at this. What we've done here is we've designed this, this stretch that was square and we've made a serpentine beam that's going to arc through. Now, if it were on grade, we could put a diagonal yes. carrying beam underneath and nobody would ever see it. However, right. we've got a walkout condition below us, so we've got tongue and groove mahogany ceiling underneath that deck. Oh, look at that. So this is a structural beam? It is structural. Have you got it ordered? We're not gonna order it. We're gonna make it. Are you really? Yeah, we'll make it in the shop. Oh, Wanna cool. give me a hand? Absolutely, let's, right, let's go. go. All right, Tom, welcome to the shop. Well, thanks. A great shop. Nice and bright. Yep. Plus, it's close by. That's a big deal right there. So, is this the material you're going to use to make up the beam? Yep. It's got, we've got 10 plies of quarter-inch Luan plywood, mm -hmm. ripped to 12-inch wide, and we're going to glue it up with two-part epoxy. Chris has got all mixed for us. So, I take it these it gloves are for us? we got a glove up. All right. Cool. So, we want a thin layer of epoxy on each piece. Yeah. We got to work fast with this. What's the set? Well, we've got about a half hour pot life to work with. Here. All right, so that's not bad. No. Okay, so we're just going to create an even distribution on each and every ply. Okay. And we're going to sandwich it together. Just about covers us. We're ready to flip our first piece together. All right, what are we flipping? Wet to wet? Wet to wet. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right. That's two ply. Yeah. We've got eight to go. Eight to go. Okay. Now we've got it draped in plastic here. We're going to wrap it right up in the same plastic so we don't get glue over us. That's a good so idea. Shop. Okay, now we're ready to put it in the form. Get this jig set up with the grade eight radius. Yeah. We're going to line up the center. Okay. Just a little bit this way. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to clamp right, the center first. Put one clamp in the center. Yep. One on the top. 
Okay. Pull on the bottom. Sounds good. Okay. That should do it. Let's get a loose clamp on my end. All right. We'll get this thing loosely into place. Just start it out, yeah. And then we're going to work on your side. Okay. That right, should good. hold it. Good. All right, because we've got this epoxy wet in there, it yeah. allows the pieces to slide by one another yeah. and create a curve in the beam. Sure. So just grab that one loose one and we'll get this thing temporarily set. All right, now okay. we'll go back to work in the center and we'll work it all the way out. All right. Okay, that'll do it. Looks good. We'll just let that sit for 24 hours. Okay. Well, the epoxy's set. Let's see what we have. Nice. That epoxy is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. All right. Now we just have to unwrap it. Just okay. like a Christmas present. <laughs> That gets it. Ready to roll it? Just roll it up. Okay, what's next? All right, so we got this excess epoxy here. We're going to hit this with the power planer. Mm -hmm. We're going to run it through the table saw on both sides to chew it up. Nice. Now, just remember, we're only halfway there. Right now, we've got a beam that's inch and three quarter. Right. What we need is three and a half inches. Oh, sure. And what that's going to do is marry up to our LVL beam. Yeah. Oh. We're going to have a half lap joint. We're going to create a half lap joint at all our intersections for strength. So your whole beam is going to be just like that. It's going to be doubled and half lap together. That's correct. And it's not going anywhere. That's a good beam. Yeah. Nice job, Jeff. Thanks for your help, Tom. My pleasure.